Rosa, Karage, Night, Gyoza, it's kind of like dumplings. And um, Karage is fried, usually it's fried chicken. And the Gyoza usually has some kind of meat, um, minced meat inside. But uh, we are all vegan. Uh, it's a couple with a child. Uh, his name is Indy, the coolest kid. He's eight years old. And he's pretty much given the choice to be vegan. And he decides to do it. Um, and both of them are kind of very active, environmentally active people. Amazing, I have a lot to learn from them. Both lived abroad. She's Japanese, he's um, British, and they were amazing. So cool. So, me and my girlfriend, my girlfriend is vegan as well. We went there and we had this dumpling and uh, um, the karage. So, the karage is like usually fried chicken, but again, since we're all vegan, it's not real meat or anything, it's kind of meat substances stuff that made from soy I don't really care for those stuff, I think it's unnecessary but it's very helpful for people who want to kind of you know, get inside veganism and eating plant-based easily I wouldn't say that it's healthy in any way by the way, healthy, I can make a whole long video about what is healthy um, I don't like the word, I think it's just overused word that means pretty much nothing, it's very vague I wouldn't say healthy, I say less harmful <laughs> so it's less harmful than anything else, than the real thing yeah, the real thing so it's made out of soy, soy meat and it's it tastes pretty much the same sometimes when you eat ex especially the dumplings they have this minced meat thing inside that made also from soy beans and um, you know you take a bite out of it and it's like whoa is this the real thing because it's kind of disturbing <laughs> say it that it's not real meat inside nobody can understand the difference so this is a light snack after we ate I didn't eat much and now I'm gonna eat some uh, rice with some beans inside hey it's brown rice that my girlfriend's father and I made together kind of made together you can say planted and cut them together and some nice Korean style kind of a little bit barbecued um, naughty seaweed oh yeah and somewhere helped his grandmother um, 
you should look into it if you're interested. And he's, of course, a vegan, plant-based doctor, and he speaks about, well, how not to die younger than necessary uh, or possible by changing our food and diet because this is the most important thing it's not workout it's not anything don't believe nobody that says to you that you need to work out in order to lose weight or to be healthy it's all here in food not mukbang or i don't know how to say the word mukbang mukbang it's not about those asmr videos when we eat snacks and stuff uh, it put it aside it's just sometimes better not to but we still do it just you know people we are all pretty weak uh, it's usually food whole whole food plant-based uh, that's what the data shows to us so this is why i'm really interested about reading the book yeah so how oh, not to die and light snack so 
Hold this in 